What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Kind of Punch Boxing News, and I got some new news for you concerning Eddie Hearn and Dillian White. Eddie Hearn has stated that no one wants to really see Luis Ortiz versus Dillian White. They would rather see Derek Chisora. Now, what I say to that is absolute bollocks. That's crazy. For people to think that you wouldn't want to see a fight, a fresh fight, with a dangerous opponent, uh, uh, an Olympian, a guy that only been beat once, a guy that had Deontay Wilder, the WBC champion, out on his feet, damn near about, that fight was damn near about to be stopped, maybe, maybe not. But you'd rather see Derek Chisora, a guy that you've already beat, you know, like, look, here's the deal. The problem I have with Eddie Hearn is, is this type of stuff. Him making interviews, saying stuff that protects his fighters, because see, now it's clear to me. See, I'm not convinced, like a lot of people, that Anthony Joshua or Eddie Hearn didn't stop the negotiations between Luis Ortiz and Anthony Joshua. Because you guys remember, Luis Ortiz was was set to fight Anthony Joshua. He wanted to fight him. So that's why he signed the match room. Okay? That's why he signed to them. Because he wanted that opportunity to fight for that championship belt or belts. Right? In some strange way, it didn't happen. Okay? So now we got Dillian White, which really is the number two guy. You know, he's the WBC silver interim champion, okay? And Dillian White claims that I want to fight Deontay Wilder, which I don't doubt that he does. But what do what do I doubt is, I doubt that if he's, he's, he's been called a bluff. He's been called out on a bluff. He says that Luis Ortiz didn't want to fight him. I'll fight the old man. We'll fight the old man. Damn what the Eddie Hearn says. Because now... If Eddie Hearns had it his way, we already know how he stands. He would want him to get a rematch with Derek Chisora. You know, a fight we've already seen. And stating that, oh, the UK fans want to see that fight. Maybe the UK fans, but not fans all over the world. You know what I'm saying? The zone is about American fights and UK fights. You can't only have UK fights. That's retarded. You see what I'm saying? That makes no sense. You know, so you have to have, when it, it's better, it's more marketable when you put an American in there, which Ortiz is not American, he's Cuban, he's Cuban-American, in with a, a with a UK fighter, which is Dillian White. So pretty much you got the number two heavyweight in America, which is, which is Luis Ortiz, versus the number two heavyweight in the UK, which is Dillian White. So I don't see the problem in that, and I don't see why. Eddie Hearn would try to block this fight from happening, saying that I, uh, I don't feel that the masses would uh, of UK fans. It's not all about the UK fans. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm not really set in, in stone to believe that because I know I have a lot of UK subscribers, a lot of UK fans that follow this channel. And they, like me, want to see the best fights. You know, if you look at the views from my, from my channel, okay, from my videos, most of them are coming from Deontay Wilder, Luis Ortiz, and Dillian White. Those are the highest. Then you got Canelo and Manny and all those guys, and Floyd. All those guys are under those particular ratings. So, yes, the interest peaks on Luis Ortiz and Dillian White. So, Eddie, Eddie Hearn, for him trying to stop this fight or trying to downplay this fight, he's wrong for doing that, and he shouldn't do that. And I hope Dillian White doesn't fall and doesn't let – Eddie Hearn give him a cushion because he's stopping Dillian White's potential because get get this he fights what does Dillian White earn by fighting Derek Chisora what did Derek Chisora do beside knockout tack tack him I mean what else did he do yeah he's he he got a solid win against a credible guy but look at tack him what did tack him really do you see what I'm saying like tack him holds no credibility he just probably wasn't expected to uh, beat Tackham, sure, but that don't mean you should put him in there with the number two guy 
that has already beat him. It makes no sense. You know, just like Joshua does not want to fight Dillian White for the second time over the desire to fight Deontay Wilder. Why? Because Deontay Wilder is the other heavyweight champion. Deontay Wilder is the guy that he has not fought. So it is some question marks to be answered. Okay? So that's why. Just like Dillian White should not want to fight Derek Ch Chisora just because Eddie Hearn made an interview. So I hope he's not trying to spill us a narrative and feed us this line of, 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 of garbage, really. Because just, it's just garbage for you to, to tell people that, oh, uh, Dillian White and Derek Chisora, too, would be better than a Luis Ortiz and Dillian White? Dude, that's just that's absurd. It makes no sense. You know what I mean? And that is where it comes down to. See, because understand this, people. When people criticize Eddie Hearn, you got members of the LDBC and then you have guys like that, Dante's Boxing Nation. They criticize him. You know, sure, they may be coming from some biased things, but uh, understand when you do something and you step out of your element and blatantly make show people certain things, they're going to take it and run with it. You know, and this makes totally perfect sense. You know, that's why I'm not for or against either fighter. I'm for the sport of boxing. You know what I mean? So if Eddie Hearn is doing like he's doing right now, I'm going to call him out on it. I don't care who you are. I don't care what promoter. I don't care what fighter. I'm going to call you out on it. And to me, this fight sounds like a pitched fight. It, 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 it sounds like to me, this fight is just being thrown in there just so to keep Dillian White busy. So basically, here's the deal. If Dillian White ends up fighting Derek Chisora, that now states that Eddie Hearn has lost because he did not give the fans on that new platform to zone the fights that they wanted to see because you know if he fights Derek Chisora that only frees him up he's a chance he's going to beat him okay he's going to beat Derek Chisora Derek Chisora goes back in the line a few places right and then he fights uh, Joshua uh, in April which nobody really wants to see that on top, I mean, it would be a pretty decent fight. It would sell. But would you rather want to see Dillian White and Joshua or Joshua and Deontay Wilder? You know what I mean? That's all you need to ask yourself. You know, my speculation is the reason why Eddie Hearn does not want Luis Ortiz to fight Dillian White because there's a good chance Luis Ortiz, the quote-unquote old man, will beat Dillian White. And if he beats Dillian White, that's his second guy. That's his number two guy out of his stable, out of the out of the picture. Okay? So that only leaves Ortiz and Joshua or Joshua and Wilder. You see what I'm saying? So if that happens, that, that pushes Eddie Hearn to a position like, okay, you're going to have to fight one of these guys. You know, then and only then we will know because there won't be any options. You see what I'm saying? There won't be any options. You can't go and, and put uh, Brazil back in there with Joshua. Nobody wants to see that because Joshua already beat Brazil. You know what I mean? And speaking of Brazil, Brazil's a guy that's already been, uh, wants to fight Dillian White. You know what I mean? Because they're both eliminators in this, this jacked up situation with the WBC and Brazil said that he would fight Dillian White. Why not take that fight? I would rather see that besides the same old recycled fights because that's no different than Eddie Hearn trying this approach and trying this versus um, Bob Arum doing what he used to do with Manny Pacquiao and Juan Manuel Marquez and Timothy Bradley, and you only had two or three guys fighting each other three or four times. That's stupid. That makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? Even though Pacquiao and Marquez were, was some competitive fights, they did not have to fight all that time. They had a rivalry, but they didn't have to fight each other back to back. You know, especially because they ran out of fighters to face or didn't want to put your fighter in there to get, you know, because he was too much of a risk. When these fighters are willing to fight anybody. So let these guys fight. Let these guys show their true potential. Don't hold these guys back. Don't hold Dillian White back. He's the number two dude. The number two dude. 
He's the guy that arguably has a better resume than Anthony Joshua. So why would you stop him now? He's fought Parker. He's already knocked out Chisora. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's knocked out Lucas Brown. You know, yeah, put him in there with Luis Ortiz. This guy is on a roll. So the last thing you want to do is block him from his full potential because you're afraid of something from a business standpoint. And that's what I see. He's afraid of Luis Ortiz, again, knocking out uh, knocking out Dillian White or somehow losing to Dillian White in the UK. Then Luis Ortiz, of course, you know what he's going to do. He's already had his opportunity at Wilder, right? The only other champion left is Joshua. He's going to call out Joshua because he just took down the WBC because then he would become the WBC interim champion. And then it's time for him to get in the ring if there's no Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua fight. So that's my take on it, guys. You guys tell me what you think about Eddie Hearn and his comments. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.